So welcome back to the channel guys, One Man in His Pan. It's a new season, we're back on the hunt for some English gold. And I thought what better way than to start the season off than to head back to the beach where I finished off last year and see if we can't find any of the good stuff. So the first time I come beach gold panning, I was a bit of a novice. But I've been watching a lot of the Flower Gold Wizard from YouTube and I've took a few tips off him and I've come prepared today. So I bought myself a little trolley that I can drag along the beach with a bigger bucket so I can collect the black sands as I walk along instead of lugging buckets and put down in my arms and be dropping off. So let me just show you what I've got. And there we have it, that's the gold cart for today. And that'll help me get up and down the beach a lot easier than last time, struggling with buckets. Um, and that's probably about a yard bucket there, so I can collect quite a bit of material in one go and get it run through the sluice. Huh? Well, you don't see that every day. And this year, I seem to have picked up some new special powers for getting me about the beach. Let me show you. See, and now I'm here. Let's go again. And now I'm here. I'm getting good at this. Now, if you look at the banks, over the winter period, we've had quite a lot of storms and it's eroded quite a lot of the bank away. And what it's done is deposited loads of new black sands for us and replenished the beach. So hopefully we'll find some decent sand and some gold for you. The only problem is today, I've drove all the way up here three and a half hours and I've left my pans in the house. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm just gonna have to collect the black sands, sluice it, collect the concentrates and take it back home. So I've found some nice black sands because it's along this eroded bit of bank here but I've seemed to have lost my shovel. Uh, oh there it is over there, hang on, let me just try something. Wow, I'm getting good at this. So now I've got a nice big yard bucket of black sands. Let's get that run through the sluice and see how we get on. Now what I've done here, I've got a dream mat sluice and I've got my fine catching gold sluice. So hopefully a longer run will give me a better chance of catching more of the flower gold. So when we're running the black sands on the beach, what you want to do is run them wet because if you don't, I'll just float out the end of your sluice box and back into the stream. So I get a lot of messages off people asking me where can I go and find gold on the beach and they have gone out and found got, uh, black sands on their beach but there's no gold in it. So there's a couple of reasons why this is. One, because the black sands you're finding on your beach is not from glacier erosion, not from glacier till. So if you look behind me, this is all glacier till, hard compacted clay material brought down over millennia via ice age glaciers with which a uh, road road away from Scotland which um, it in turn brought a big massive sheet of ice with gold bearing material which then was later eroded away 
by waves and is now deposited on this beach. And let me just show you a place where people go to looking for black sands and they're not finding nothing. Now, if you're looking for gold on the beach, this is the complete wrong beach. And the reasons why, well, you see this uh, sea barrier wall. This is also a barrier to erosion the black sands from any possible glacier till that might be behind that wall. And it's the same as cliffs of hard rock, igneous rock, or unless there's quartz veins, or um, calcite veins, which you find down in Torquay and Devon, you're not gonna find any gold on the beach. So steer away from places like this. So what can I say about today? That's been an interesting day, hasn't it? It certainly has. We've seen sea monsters, I forgot my gold pan. Well, I've got, I've run about four buckets. Let's get that back home get them cons planned out and I'll give you a way up at the end to see how much we've got. I'm back home, I've sieved it all through with a fine mesh. Now I've got a big pan full of black sands and I'm gonna have to go through it, tablespoon at a time. And this may take me a while, so I'll get back to you once it's all done. So that's the clean up done. And it's not as much as I was expecting, but some gold is better than none. Took me three hours to get through that black sand. Um, I think my inability to uh, test pan the black sands because I forgot my pans has really hindered the results. But that ain't too bad, I suppose. Some gold's better than none. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching, people. And I hope you enjoyed this one. One man and his pan.